Note that in Jupyter Lab, which is actually part of Jupyter Notebook, if you try to do something like this, you will have problems because it will crash the kernel. The kernel is the part of the thing which runs your program inside the Jupyter Lab. Let me demonstrate to you. So this code is supposed to capture the webcam similar to what I did in the previous video using PyCharm. So if I try to run this now by selecting the cell and pressing Shift Enter, it will go ahead and show the webcam. Okay, but the problem arises when I press Q over here. When I press Q, it will try to quit. So when I press Q, it will crash. So now this thing is hang. See that? And you see not responding. So this is the problem with uh, Jupyter Lab and Jupyter Notebooks and Anaconda itself. You can't run OpenCV inside of it. So you need to close this now. Force close. All right. And when this happens, you have to restart the kernel by going here, kernel, and restart the kernel. Restart. Okay, so that is the problem. But So how do you solve this problem? If you still want to use Jupyter Notebook for developing, so you have to find another way. You can use the script. So what we do is we copy all this code here, and then we click this plus symbol and then here we have a new launcher so now come down to the bottom and click on the text file and then you create a new script you paste the code here this code control c to copy control v to paste and then now you are going to rename it coming here and then I rename it by right clicking and then here we rename this as a webcam test and with the py extension see that now it changes color then we save it. Control S to save. And now when we want to run this script, we have to open another launcher. Clicking on the plus symbol, open another launcher. This time we're going to click on the terminal. And now we have a terminal. And then now we can type Python followed by the name of the script webcam test. Webcam test and then press enter and then only now it will work properly if I press Q now it will not crash see that it works so this is the workaround for the limitations of Java uh, Jupyter notebook if whenever you want to run OpenCV you need to create a script and then run it in a terminal using the launches now the if you wanted the intellisense to work you need to use pycharm now inside the script of capability for jupyter laptop it does not have intellisense so you can't like type for example you can type cv to dot there is no intelligence, nothing pops up. You have to manually type video capture zero. So this is another limitation of Jupyter Notebook when you are trying to develop OpenCV applications. So if you wanted to have the intelligence, then you should use PyCharm. PyCharm has got built-in intelligence. When you type CV2 dot uh, the rest of the possible matches will pop up and you just have to click on it. So it's up to you whichever 
platform you decide to use. But Jupyter Laptop, Jupyter Notebook is excellent for data analysis. If you are going to do analysis, a lot of uh, uh, data analysis, then probably you might want to stick with Jupyter Laptop, uh, Jupyter Notebook uh, for doing your work. So that's all. Uh, I hope you found this useful. Uh, thank, if you like this video, remember to like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching.